Hello everyone, Trancher Dan here. And as always, I'd like to thank you for taking the time to check out my channel. And of course, this video, it does mean a lot to me that you would take the time to do so. So in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing some enclosures. Now, these enclosures were given to me for review purposes, courtesy of The Spider Shop. Of course, most of you will know who they are. If you don't, you can find the website, which I'll put down here on the screen, as well as a link to their website. You can click on that, I'll put two links, one to the products I'm reviewing and also one just generally to the website as a whole so you can have a look at their other stuff. I get most of my inverts from them and I cannot recommend them highly enough and also I wear this awesome t-shirt of theirs which is fantastic. So a little while back I went to the Northern Invertebrate Show which was a fantastic show, really really enjoyed it. I was working uh, with the spider shop, I got to meet loads of you while I was on the stall and walking around. I did that awesome video which if you haven't seen that uh, yet be an annotation for that at the end of the video um, and yeah so I was working with the spider shop and as a kind of a thank you I guess I got two enclosures to review which kind of suits me very very nice and thank you to the spider shop for those now what we're gonna do is firstly is getting these ready um, I'm gonna show you just sort of what I'm keeping in them and things I have uh, one fairly rare spider in the one and the other one is a wonderful spider Anyway, so I put the video up, we'll take a look at the setting up of the uh, the enclosures, showing you which animals I'm putting into them, and uh, before you know it, I'll be back talking. So as you can see, these enclosures are absolutely amazing. They look absolutely fantastic if you've got a nice sort of display shelf, especially with some nice spiders in them, they go absolutely wonderful. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, they gave me two enclosures, but I do actually have a third one myself. Um, many of you know I am one of the few people in the hobby that own a Tyvo chain of Celadonia. It is my absolute gem of a tarantula. I paid an absolute fortune for it, just shy of 400 pounds for a one centimeter uh, leg span of this spider absolutely um gorgeous spider and it is not only well it is my rarest my most expensive spider and i am keeping it in one of these enclosures and the reason i say that is because if it's good enough for that spider for me then it has to be good enough for you guys and whatever spiders you keep these enclosures are built absolutely fantastic now the first one which is the one that has my tea celadonia um, inside which we'll take a little look at um, I've had this for over a year now and there is no warping, there's no cracks, there's no leaking, um, absolutely no problems at all. The ventilation is absolutely perfect, like sort of keeping it sort of just right. Um, you, if you want to increase the humidity, a really easy way is either get like a bit of plastic or something to just block one of the vents and you can sort of raise uh, your humidity uh, that way. This enclosure of my Celadonia is kept on top of my bearded dragon enclosure. The heat has not caused any problems to it either. And you can see that with a little bit of time, these enclosures can look absolutely, they look wonderful. Um, especially if you get a really nice looking spider in it. I wouldn't recommend putting in a fossorial spider because of course you're not gonna see them. But as you can see, uh, obviously the T Celadonia, which currently lives up on this little ledge at the top, uh, which is very, very frustrating. But I can still see it really, really well. Uh, the glass is sort of super clear, uh, easy to clean. And when you have a few of these next to each other, they look really, really nice. Now, of course, the one in the terrestrial enclosure, which is absolutely fantastic for a terrestrial, as I said on the Northern Invert show uh, video that I did, a uh, gentleman came up to me, asked me if these are any good. I don't get anything from recommending these to you as such. 
apart from peace of mind that you're keeping your animals in probably some of the best enclosures that you, you can buy. Um, I recommend these to people because I have personally bought these myself, or I bought the Celadonia one myself, and my aim is to basically move as many of my spiders into these enclosures over the next sort of few years and things. They are really, really nice. Uh, so I bought them myself. I've had over a year with the one and it works for me. It looks amazing. You can sort of stack them, although I wouldn't do it with things too heavy, of course. It is glass and you don't want to risk it sort of breaking. But if you get yourself a nice shelf, they will look fantastic. Now these do come in different sizes as well. Now, of course, we have the cube one. There is also the terrestrial, which is what my um, Trichopelma species Columbia is in. Uh, you can also get the arboreal one, which I don't have, but I will have for, I think, some of my pokies, uh, Avix, Wobbapod, um, Caribona, uh, Tapilocinius. Uh, so yeah, my arboreal species will be in the arboreal enclosures as time goes on. And they actually do some really cool little ditty, um, like cube uh, ones as well, which are sort of much smaller, ideal for sort of like juvenile spiders. So there's a good range uh, of of sizes for you know the different kinds of spiders that you might have. As I said, I would not put a fossil up in it. As I, you know, my uh, Trichopelma species Columbia is currently in one, and since I have put it in, you saw in the video, it went into the burrow, into the into the sort of uh, you know the little burrow made. I haven't seen it since, which is really really crap. Uh, of course, my Celadonia always out on display, which is fantastic. Which I'm glad it is for the if I if I didn't sell spider, I would genuinely be fretting all the time. And of course, the Chromatocarma scientificensis, the green bottle blue, is always out. Uh, she's probably you know she does sort of go in if I sort of knock the enclosure, but if you leave or leave her, um, you know she does come out and have a wonder, which is great. As I was saying at the the Northern Inver show, some gentleman came up to me and said, "Are these any good?" I said yes, absolutely. Not saying it because I want to sell them to you as such. I'm saying that because I have personally, I bought one myself. I cannot rate them hardly enough. They are absolutely wonderful enclosures. Um, they do sell these at all the shows. So of course, if you go to the shows, you can pick them up there. Of course, you can buy them online as well. And also, if you are worried about buying them online and worrying about if they come, they might be damaged or something like that, I put a link up um, at the end of the video in an annotation to when I unboxed mine that I put my Celadonia in. Um, the packing, as always from the spire shop, is nothing short of amazing. It's why they have the reputation that they do. I've never heard of anyone having any bad problems with them. On the very few occasions where they've had sort of DOA, um, they've all been replaced sort of like straight away, which is fantastic. And the enclosures, whenever I bought any from them, including this one, uh, was sort of packaged so well, you know, the, the postman could probably play football with the box and it would still come out, um, you, know, un, you know, completely undamaged. That said, if you are a postman delivering enclosures, please don't keep them around. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are fantastic and that's why I recommend them to you, to you guys. I don't get anything for it. I just genuinely rate this product. I will be buying more myself in the future. You will see, of course, my, you know, my rarest, my most active, most, especially for heavy webbers. Um, I was thinking about moving my Alphalax into it, but I won't be doing that. Um, but you know, you get yourself these enclosures, you get yourself some really nice um, display tarantulas, uh, say uh, Avix, Pokies, Coburna, uh, Wibaporas, uh, some Chromatopelmas, um, you know, even things like, in a sense, even things like, you know, your, your horn, baboon, your African, uh, baboon spiders. Um, you know, heavy webbers, um, L phallax, L megaloides. Just get yourself some really good display tarantulas that do loads of webs or that are always out on display. Get your enclosure set up lovely, and you have genuinely got a fantastic display piece that you will enjoy, and also your animals will. So yeah, I'm not trying to like try to convince you to go and buy these straight away. That's not what I'm saying, but definitely go to the website. Just have a look at the product. Have a look at the description. Um, they might be for you. They, they might not be. Uh, personally for me, they are uh, 10 out of 10, A+++++. Plus, 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 plus. They are amazing and over time you will see me unboxing more and more of these. Of course, um, we're buying more spiders um, to go into them. And of course I have some very, very nice spiders at the moment that are quite small, but when they get to sort of like large juvenile, small adult stage, they will be put into these. 
Also, one more thing before anyone comments about the Tavo China being an enclosure that's way too big. Firstly, in the wild they do not live in enclosures, so therefore there's nothing is too big technically for a spider. Yes, most spiders can be kept in smaller enclosures, they do feel very comfortable with that, or they need the burrow in that, but the Celadonia is, let's say it's very, very rare, very expensive spider, kept in a very suitable enclosure, and I have just tried to provide it with as much uh, forward so it could do its webbing and it doesn't do that, it just sort of sits up on the top. But hopefully as it molds, it will start to uh, enjoy the enclosure more, shall we say. Um, so, but yeah, these are really, really good enclosures and you should definitely go and check them out. As always, a huge thank you to the Spider Shop for these. Uh, they are absolutely fantastic. I do really like them and I recommend them to everyone. So as always, let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. As always, uh, if you're like, interested in becoming a patron of mine, you can do so. There'll be an annotation at the end of the video and also a link in the description. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye from me and I'll see you soon in the next video.